This, these are my, this is my new, this is my new, uh, this is my new jam right here. <laughs> oh, alright. The original dripstick candles. They're fluorescent candles. Amazing. <laughs> Are you serious? We've been in this space a year and we were downstairs for two years. Oh, yeah. We love this neighborhood. Uh, there's not a ton of amenities, but it's kind of a uh, changing neighborhood every day. Something new is Evolving. kind of opening. Really interesting people, a lot of artists. It's a really beautiful space and a lot of great people here. But this building is this little gem that they gutted the whole thing, they converted it to a fully green building. It's one of the buildings that the city uses as an example of a commercial building that gives back to the power grid. And it's interesting to have like, you get that and then juxtapose it with the meth clinic down the street. And so that's what creates that changing, evolving environment is like the, the battle of the two, these two things. When I was in high school, I was, I was a, like a pretty obsessive painter. My teachers hated me because I would like do a painting and then I would just the next day paint over it and do another one. So I went to school initially to study painting. Um, it was just not exciting and, you know, was forced to take a graphic design course and was instantly in love with it because it was so liberating to me. It was all of a sudden this presentation of the ability to make anything with anything. All of a sudden, I was like, "That's I need that in to be a part of my life." One of my favorite shoots recently was a shoot for Selma magazine. Um, it's like an eight-page story. I just wanted to do something outside, kind of park benches. Very summery, very New York. And you know, a lot of the stuff I do is really inspired by location. You know, when I'm outside, I don't do a ton of lighting. I like really natural light. I'm really good with working with how the light is changing throughout the day. I think photography is, is problem solving. It's all about being as prepared as you can be and being up for the challenge and just getting it done. I used to work for Urban Outfitters as a designer and one of the catalogs that, that I helped art direct and a shot, so we met on the photo shoot. And that was uh, about six years ago. Yeah. When I first met Mike, he's, he, yeah, he's, he's always had this <laughs> whole thing. Um, I haven't ever really seen him without this and when he cuts it short, I make that joke like, it's, I, like I have a new boyfriend because he looks so different with it short. That was my default Halloween costume was just handlebar mustache, just shave, boom, and then like t-shirt and then you're like white trash dude or something like that. I was out of town thinking about his facial Beard. situation <laughs> and I'm like, we got to set some ground rules. Like I need to be able to see your mouth. <laughs> but I, <laughs> yeah. it just kind of becomes... <laughs> but I actually love it and then it comes down just a little bit and then you, you can just easily just go bloop. Love it. But. Well, you don't have to cut that part. Yeah, you do. Because it, it, it's, it's kind of dangerous because if you eat something wrong, the hair just goes into your mouth. It's disgusting. That is very dangerous. So.